Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing my process painting this beautiful portrait by Robert Henry. I'll talk a bit about the painting and also what I learned from doing this study. I made this almost two months ago, so if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it before. The finished piece will also be up on there, so be sure to check that out. So the painting I'm recreating here today is called Etna Smith in a Japanese wrap. It was made in 1915 and it's a 20 by 24 inch oil painting. Henry used the color system of Hardesti Murata, which I did look a little into. It basically assigns a letter and a number to 144 colors that are harmonically related. It matched colors with musical notes and using, one, using it, one could work with triads and chords of color to get a harmonious palette. There wasn't much detail about this color system, but it's something that I definitely want to learn more about. For anyone interested, I'll leave all my resources down in the description. The main thing that I wanted to learn from doing this study was color theory. I find that in my usual work, there is very little variation in my colors, at least not varying in hues. If you look at the painting, it barely uses colors that are traditionally classified as skin tones. There are all kinds of greens and grays in there. The original painting was obviously made using oils and from my experience, I hate them. So while attempting this digitally, I picked very, a very textured oil brush to get a traditional look. I honestly don't think this brush was the best pick, not because of the texture it had, but because I really needed to push down hard on the screen to get bold strokes. This was neither good for my tablet nor my wrists, so I definitely recommend using a brush with high pressure sensitivity. This painting had been saved in my references folder for over a year and it caught my eye while I was looking through it. Like I said before, the colors in the painting were the highlight for me. Another thing that I loved about this painting was the stylization. I love how the lips were painted and also all the blush. I really liked how the shadows were shades of green and grey and also not very saturated. The focus is so clearly directed at the face with the most detail and as you move away from it, the detailing decreases. In my version of the painting, I really love how the face looked. I was surprised to see how different it looks from the original one but we'll just pretend it's because of my style. I feel like the paint of the face look more obvious as compared to some of my other portraits. I must admit, I love how chiseled the nose looks. Overall, I am pretty satisfied with how this ended up looking. At this point, I feel dreading painting the hair has become a recurring theme in my videos. This one though was a bit different because I was looking forward to painting them. I had a stylized reference for how they could be simplified and it made the process much easier. It helps to break down hair into different shapes and then working on those. Let you enjoy the rest of the speed paint and see you near the end.
enjoyed this painting and i hope you did the same watching my process i tried a different video format and actually filming using my phone camera this was a longer video and if you enjoyed it like the video and maybe subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video Thank you.